kind of get an idea of what we're looking at and the pace that we're trying to play at. You loosen up, you take your time, loosen up. Biggest thing is change your angle on your shot. Try to use your whole body and transfer your weight. So it helps to be quick, I guess. It used to be a lot of guys move standing up and, and pushing side to side. Uh, sometimes my skate is on the post, sometimes the pad is on the post. It's always hard against tubes. It's that good, I think. I think it's all about having a little twitch to your wrist. You can look at where the opening is, but don't look the whole time there, because the Tukes will know that you're shooting there. <laughs> Eventually, you're gonna have you come in, come in to the draw, and as soon as you get in, I'll drop it. All right, so I'm gonna try here. Right? <laughs> Love it. You do your slide. So he'll pass to me. I'll pass it back to him. He's gonna stop. All right, bring it on. Oh my God! I knew that. Oh, uh, video review on that one. One more. He's leaving with the net. How do you want me to score there? I know, he's cheating. You can roof it if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> he hit the camera too. See, I switched it. I switched it. He scores the first time. Do you actually use the post to push it? Yeah. Like you actually push off. A lot of guys don't do that though, right? Yeah. Next, where we'll have you step out, just kind of pass cross crease to you. You try and score. That's a save right there. I think it's his positioning. He's so poised on shots. He never uh, commits first. It's always the shooter usually that commits. I think that makes him uh, that good. It's tough to read. I mean, a lot of it becomes instinct as you train your eye to see a certain way guys are releasing the puck. And he's got one of those releases that you can't really get a read on. It makes me mad whenever he scores. 